Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of The Copy Corner with Terry Schilling and Dan Marzullo. Today we have a very interesting topic. We are going to talk about our most underrated copywriting lesson. Yeah, we have preached specific processes, some simple ways to help write more effective copy, but we want to talk about things that are uncommon, that don't get talked about enough, and again, we find underrated that can help you write effective sales copy, brand messaging, SEO content, what have you. So Dan, I'll throw it to you to start the conversation today. Yeah, sure, Terry. I think you know the most underrated lesson, I'm pretty passionate about this one, is to <laughs> keep your copy simple and concise. Yeah. Um, I think you know too many people try to get super fancy and cute with their words, to where you don't even know what the heck it is they're talking about or what they're saying. Yeah. And you know, as a copywriter, right, the whole goal is to connect with the reader and get them to take some kind of action. If they don't even know right. what you're talking about, you kind of that's out the window right off the bat. Um, you know, kind of for example, you know, we do a lot of content and SEO audits for clients, and a lot yeah. of times we'll be scrolling through website home pages and about pages. We still don't even know what the heck it is they do because they weren't simple and concise and they didn't communicate their message. So I think that's just like so underrated um, yeah. is to kind of follow that advice. What do you think? Yeah, I completely agree with you. And it's and it's also too getting to know where the buyer is on their journey. Uh, you know, we've perhaps touched on this, you know, a few times, but. You know, if you're writing for a technical product, that means you're probably writing to somebody very specific. They probably have know about the service or product that you offer, but they're just trying to make sure that they can trust you and that you can help them solve a problem. But again, you, you want to make sure that you're clear on what you do instead of just being all this technical language. So, uh, you know, simple and clear always works. You know, the phrase goes, if you confuse me, you lose me. I'm a big believer in that when it comes to copywriting. So... Definitely an underrated copywriting lesson compared to a lot of the tips and tricks that you typically hear. Um, great stuff, Dan. And for me, I want to talk about a lesson that I've learned about the imitation game. And, you know, you're not stealing word for word. You're not copying somebody else's copy. You're just, you know, you're intimidating. Not intimidating. You're imitating it. Jesus, can't speak. Imitating it. You know, and it's something that professionals have done in every industry. It's something that I do. Dan, I know it's something that you do. A lot of other copywriters do to advance our skill set. So, you know, look at what, you know, we've talked about this, Dan. We've talked about what BuzzFeed does with their headlines. We've talked about how you can copy that formula for your subject lines, for your headlines, for your landing pages. Go on Amazon and read the subheads of specific books in your industry. See how they word that, and then you can use that for yourself. You know, make it unique to you. But know that it's okay to take what somebody else is doing because clearly it's working. And again, put your spin on, spin on it to help you write effective copy to your target audience. Right. No, that's awesome, Terry. Killer <laughs> advice, as always. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate that. I like, I like the give and take here today. It's good stuff. <laughs> I hope all our listeners feel the same way. And of course, we're excited. We're interested in hearing some, some lessons that you guys have learned too along the journey. Yeah, drop them in the comments. Um, always good to get some new tips and hear what you guys think. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's our episode for today, the two most underrated copywriting lessons we have learned. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, love what you do. Proceed with passion. We'll talk to you guys soon.